Pranes, if this pick you up, yeah. you're going to get fucked. And if this drop you off, you don't get fucked. Uh Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Cashville here. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a migration from one laptop to the other, specifically on a MacBook. So stay tuned. I've been running all day, kind of tired, but I gotta knock this one out because I think if I don't knock this one out right now, I don't know when I'm gonna get to it because you know it's my birthday month. I have a lot of trips coming up and a lot of things to do, packing this, that, blah, blah, blah. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, stay tuned, and I'm about to jump into it right now. Okay guys, so this is the new MacBook Pro. No, not the MacBook Pro. New MacBook Air M3. Uh, just got it today. This been my MacBook Pro since 2020. So it's been four years. So the battery is giving out a little bit and it doesn't have the M3 chip inside. So I decided to upgrade it. I was gonna wait until the M4 comes out, but my birthday is coming up in 16 days and I don't wanna take this on a trip with me. So I'm gonna give this one a try. If I think this one is not keeping up to my standards, whenever um, the M4 comes out and I think it's worth it, then I'll just upgrade it again. So for right now, this is what I'm gonna do. My first MacBook, I went directly to a Pro. My second MacBook, I went to an Air M3. So let's get into it. So we're gonna do a migration from the old pro to the air okay so everything that's on here folders um, apps whatever is gonna be seamlessly transformed from here to here um, I'm not gonna do a hard wire transfer today because I didn't get a cable and my Wi-Fi is fast enough so I'm just gonna do it over the Wi-Fi so if you're new to Mac and you never done this before, you're gonna learn how to do it today. So whenever it's time for you to do it, you will know how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, um, you're gonna go to your finder and you're gonna go to your utilities and go to migration assistant. Double click on that and on the new one, you do the same thing. Here. Uh, right there. So, okay. I'm gonna do here. Put in a password. One second. Okay, so I'm about to put the password in this one. Okay, so this is the old one. It's already popped up. This is the new one. It's checking for logging. Okay, so this is what you're gonna wanna see on your computers whenever it's time for you to do it. Um, this is the brain. So what you're gonna do is make sure it says, um, oh, do you wanna transfer your information uh, from a Mac, time machine, backup, or start startup disk? So you're gonna leave it on that one. Um, for this new one you're receiving so you're gonna do from to another Mac so you click that one 
and then you go here you click continue click continue here so it's a seamless thing so you have to do it on both all right see it says cash flow map book hair right there and it's um checking for mine give it a minute I think I have like 90 gigs of things to transfer over, so um, it may take a while. But yeah, you can do a hard wire um, if your internet is not strong and fast enough, but I pay good money for my internet, so I can afford to just do it over the internet instead of buying a cable just to have it hard wire transfer. Um, So yeah, so everything is gonna be just like, it's like you're not gonna miss a beat when it's done doing what it's doing. Okay guys, so now that we have the computers on the same network, um, this is the old one. So you're transferring everything from here to the new one, okay? Um, so you're gonna select to another Mac and you wanna say from a Mac. So you're gonna leave it at the top one there. That's auto selected by the way, that one. Um, then you're gonna click continue. Um, then you click continue here. So see, MacBook Pro, this is the MacBook Pro. All right, you're gonna click here, click continue. Fail to connect. Hmm, hold on, let's see here. Okay guys, so once you um, do your search here and connect that you want to receive data from a Mac, you're gonna click continue and then you're gonna see your other computer pops up, okay? And when that happens, you're gonna get a code. So now that the codes match, gonna do its thing and make sure y'all are plugged into power too when doing this because this can really drain your battery in like seconds so be careful on that so now it's calculating how much stuff is needs to be pulled off I wasn't gonna do certain stuff like certain apps and stuff, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. And then if I don't need it, I'll just remove it later. So this is not, especially if you have a lot of things on your computer, this is not something that's gonna be done in two seconds. So make sure you have time so you can really focus on what you're doing so you don't mess up. Cause once you transfer everything from here and then you format this or trade it in or sell it, you cannot get the info back. So make sure you take your time and do it properly. Okay, so now it's receiving all the receipts. 
and now it's looking for other softwares. Okay, so 141 gig. All right, it's doing other files and folder. Okay, so total is 151 gigs and yeah, 151.92 gigs. So when I do that, I'm gonna have 306.99 gigs available. And that's probably never gonna be used because some of these things that I'm transferring will be deleted. So yeah. Okay, let's see what's in here. Application, library. Okay, so I'm gonna go through some of these things here. Um, and just remove some stuff that I don't think I need. Okay, so go to systems first. Network, these are cheap stuff. Uh, folders, I guess so, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go through here real quick and delete some stuff. Okay, guys, now that I went through to my data and pick out a few stuff, I'm gonna click continue. Okay, so let me set a password. So cash for the account already exists and it's met. Do you want to replace it? So I'm just going to replace it. Air. It's gonna start up, start doing its thing. That's why I tell you you have to keep it on charge, so the power don't just knock your computer out, and you have to start all over. So now it's transferring 44 files. And remember, I'm doing this over Wi Fi, so look 151 gigs. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this and I'm going to take a shower. Um, and I got to iron some clothes for tomorrow. So, see it's now moving fast and now it's 
256. It's getting crazy now. It's just keep speeding up. So I'm gonna come back after I finish showering, ironing my clothes, and then I'll check and see how far it reached. Okay, so stay tuned. So now it says uh, six hours and 44 minutes remaining. We're at 342 files transferring. Um, it's been about five minutes now. So yeah, that's, that's not bad. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're at 33,070 files. See how fast that shit moving? It's been uh, 13 minutes since I started this. First, it said it was gonna take six hours and 40 something, 44 minutes. Now it's at one hour and 25 minutes and it's already at 33,000K transferred file. So let's keep going. I'm about to go take a shower now for real this time. Okay guys, so migration is complete. Um, it really took about an hour and, I would say an hour and 30 minutes because it was done and was asking me to put my code back in but i was busy doing something else so i kind of like wasted like 30 minutes so um yeah i think it took officially like an hour and 30 minutes to do 193,000 files yep so 151 gigs so that's it so that's how you transfer all your stuff settings from one macbook to a new macbook Hope you enjoy. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Also, if you're looking for some crazy streetwear t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, whatever you want, go to the description down below and look.